In the cemetery outside Good Springs, cheated death once again, and the Mojave wasteland was forever changed. The new California Republic celebrated its second victory at Hoover Dam, establishing definitive control over the entire Mojave wasteland. Soon after, they negotiated terms to annex the Strip, Freeside, and many surrounding communities. The Mojave wasteland, at long last, had entirely fallen under the NCR's banner. The courier, fair and even-handed in his dealings throughout the wasteland, was honored by the NCR for his support of the military at Hoover Dam. He was presented with the Golden Branch, the highest civilian decoration given by the Republic. Though some super mutants in Nightkin continued to journey to the legendary Utopatha, they found little trace of its existence. Some eventually found their way to Jacobstown, but many wandered off into the wastes, confused and disheartened. Still grappling with self-doubt over his usefulness in the face of old age, Raoul was never able to find peace with himself. Eventually, he left the Mojave and assumed a new name, as he had done so many times before. With the help of the Gunrunners, the Boomers developed a healthy trading relationship with the NCR. Eventually, the Boomers began wandering out into the wasteland, while still preventing outsiders from entering Nellis. The Brotherhood and the NCR in the Mojave Wasteland declared an official truce, despite continued hostilities between the two in the West. As per their agreement, the NCR handed over all suits of salvaged power armor, and in return, the Brotherhood helped patrol I-15 and Highway 95. Despite her departure from the group, the Brotherhood's peace treaty with NCR came as some relief to Veronica. Though she remained friendly with surface patrols, she was never again permitted to enter the bunker she once called home. Fearing for the safety of anyone she associated with, she continued her solitary life as a scavenger. But reports would emerge from Mojave scientists and social workers of old equipment miraculously repaired and research notes mysteriously completed. Their leaders destroyed by the courier, the fiends scattered throughout the wasteland. Without the organization of Motor Runner, Cook Cook, Violet, and Driver Nephi, they were easy prey. After the NCR's victory at the dam, the followers of the apocalypse were pushed out of Old Mormon Fort during its occupation by NCR forces. NCR further encouraged them to leave Outer Vegas entirely, and the followers had no choice but to comply. Good Springs saw more trade along I-15 after NCR gained control of the Mojave Wasteland, but with that came a heavy burden of the Republic's taxes. Some old-timers, unable to handle the cost, were forced to move on, grumbling all the while. In the years following the destruction of Cassidy Caravans, NCR used evidence of the plot to blackmail the Crimson Caravan and the Van Graffs. NCR enacted strict trade laws with little resistance, strengthening their supply lines and their position in the Mojave. Cass survived to see the NCR flag flying proud over Hoover Dam and thought for a moment, this is what a hero must feel like. She was about to tell the courier not to get too proud of himself. Then she figured, he knew that already. That night, Cass kicked in the door of his room to celebrate, only to find the man on the bed was an NCR soldier whose barracks had been destroyed. He was cute though, so after having her way with him, she got the hell out, leaving an empty whiskey bottle as a note. As she walked along the dam in the night, she felt drunk, content, and happy to be alive. Which to her, was the whole point of it all. After generations of being beaten down, the great cons were finally broken by the courier. Those few who avoided the courier's wrath moved north into the wilderness of Idaho, where they tried once more to rebuild. Thanks to the courier and Lily, a cure for the Nightkin schizophrenia was found shortly after Dr. Henry's experiment concluded. Nightkin and other super mutants in the wasteland flocked to Jacobstown, and the town became known as a haven where a mutant could find peace. Lily continued to take her medicine at half doses, and although she remembered her grandchildren, her mind remained muddled and confused. 
Eventually, she parted ways with the courier and traveled west, seeking the remnants of her past. After the NCR victory at Hoover Dam, the temporary truce between them and the kings blossomed into a full-scale relief effort for the people. While the NCR made repeated entreaties that Freeside join the Republic, the kings steadfastly maintained their independence. Revitalized by Violetta's brain, Rex eventually learned to balance the memories of his old life with Violetta's experiences among the brutal fiends. His mind had difficulty adjusting, but Rex eventually found peace with his new, more vicious self. Looking for a place where he could be of some use, Boone found himself re-enlisting with his old unit. Though his regrets remained in his thoughts, they coalesced into a purpose, and Boone embraced it. He spent his leave time hunting down slavers in the desert, his first recon beret the last thing they never saw. Armed with a wide array of improvised explosives and stolen weapons, the Vault 19 powder gang tormented the Mojave Wasteland for years. Citizens of the NCR were favorite targets, and they always suffered the worst fates. And so the Courier's Road came to an end, for now. In the new world of the Mojave Wasteland, fighting continued, blood was spilled, and many lived and died just as they had in the old world. Because war, war never changes.